The family vibe that you get at Cone Health is outstanding. I mean, ever since I walked in the door, I've been welcomed. I've been supported the entire time. I felt very comfortable in my transition from a student to a now licensed pharmacist. We have an exceptional team of preceptors who are um, supportive and encouraging and really try to um, find the talent in our residents. It offers a wonderful uh, opportunity to take what you learned in college and apply it to the real world with a set of mentors around you. I won't name drop, but I trained at one of maybe the best known health system in the country. I trained there. I came here to uh, as my first job out of training and was stunned by what pharmacy does here as compared to maybe the most famous known health system in the country is that these pharmacists are all over quality of care. They are an integral part of the healthcare team. Uh, they are calling physicians, directing care uh, in ways that don't happen in all health systems. So many residents here that there's always someone on an infectious disease rotation and me being the PGY2 I kind of have the responsibility to teach them and show them some things and as the year progresses I'll be able to do that more and more as I learn more and more. Um, so as far as like a teaching perspective I would I value the in-person um, on the job uh, teaching and Cone, to, Cone gives all of that. So we are both an, um, a community hospital, but we're also a teaching hospital. So we're not as large, so to speak, as some of the university-based teaching hospitals. And so therefore, we have really close relationships with all of our other multidisciplinary partners. I feel that at Cone, we have you know something for everybody. So if you're interested in pediatrics, um, if you're interested in cardiology, oncology, um, we kind of serve all different types of patients. And so when I was looking for a residency, I wanted to, to go somewhere where I could get a broad range of experiences. And so I think Cone really fits that bill. We have programs where we have that you can get a double dabble of both. You can have acute care and ambulatory care. It's a very family culture oriented place. They care about your mental health, which I feel like is very, very important as residents, because we know like residents can have a, burn, a high burnout rate, which I feel like is very important to know that they're constantly asking you, is this too much? Let me know if there's anything I can do. The preceptors here are very, very, I would say like, welcome me and then they know that you are a resident so you never feel like oh my gosh I have to be perfect they understand that you're gonna make mistakes they understand that you're in a learning environment and they're willing to teach you and I feel like that's very very important to have preceptors who want to teach you and make sure that you're there to progress yourself as a student well not as a student but a clinical resident so we do look for residents who not only would like to learn a lot from us, but that we feel can contribute to our program. The very best residents are those who come in and they make our program better for being part of, of our program here. You know, a lot of hospitals will say that we want to contribute to the community. You know, they'll sponsor events or something like that. But here they actually um, do things beyond just financial support to kind of bring the community together. If we're gonna take care of our patients, we also need to take care of each other and ourselves. And so we really do ensure that we make time for that and are looking out for the amount of hours that we're spending um, here in the hospital and uh, ensuring that we're looking out for each other and saying, hey, are you, know, you okay today? Or is there anything that we can do to, to help support you um, further? I strongly believe that in order to have a strong team, there needs to be diversity in minds, diversity in experiences, um, and we strive very hard to ensure that um, during the recruitment process that we are um, getting a diversity of candidates that come through our doors. 
um, because we really want to make sure that we are representing our community. Um, and so those who work within Cone Health really need to be able to speak to um, the people that we serve. The culture, like everyone says, it feels like family. Um, you look forward to coming into work and working with your colleagues every day. And I mean that from your fellow pharmacists, the pharmacy technicians, the doctors and nurses that you work with, dietitians, everyone. They want you to succeed, but they also want to get to know you as a person, not just a resident. And I can definitely see myself keeping in contact with uh, the preceptors or technicians even here um, after. Yeah. I tell residents frequently that I'm looking for residents who want to come and have about the most fun that you can have being a pharmacy resident in what's probably the hardest year of your career. Yeah, I would definitely second that. I feel like you come to this program, you get what you put into it, and we have such stellar residents. They come out and we're so proud of what they've done and what they continue to do, but at the same time, all you hear is how much, how much they've enjoyed it, how much they've been surprised how much they've enjoyed it, and I think it just speaks to how we've, we've structured this program. We really care, we want them to do well.